Hey guys, um, somebody in the class asked, how do I compute delta V over delta T? I wanted to explain that as, you know, quickly. And uh, so I, I grabbed one of the images from the handout. This is one that uh, you'll recognize. And I sort of blew it up so that uh, you could see what was going on. So this is that same image, just sort of zoomed in a little bit. I want to point out a couple things before I explain how to get delta V over delta T. First of all, the yellow trace here is the total voltage across the capacitance and the resistance. This is the RC circuit we're using to characterize the capacitance of the capacitor. That's ultimately what we want to calculate. And you can see here that the yellow trace is set at two volts per division. So we've got one, two, three and a half divisions. And uh, that makes it seven volts. Two volts per division, three and a half divisions is seven volts. So the total voltage drop across the resistance and the capacitance, when this guy flips on, is seven volts. Now the capacitor starts out with about one division, or two volts, so that leaves about five volts across the resistance. So we can get the current by taking the five volts across the resistor divided by the resistance. That gives us the current at the beginning of the charging cycle here. Now the question then is, what is delta V over delta T? So my uh, crude approach is to simply draw a line that's tangent. So let's see if we can get one that's approximately tangent. That looks pretty good right there. Okay, I'm, I'm maybe a little shallow, but not too bad. Um, how many, so we need to compute delta V over delta T. That's just the rise over the run of this line. Now, it doesn't matter what the actual change in voltage is at the end. What we're worried about is the slope at the beginning. So we just draw any old tangent line that we can measure, and we go and get it. So what's the rise? Well, it's one, two, three divisions. At two, to volts, two volts per division, that's six volts. So that's the rise. What's the run? Well, it's one, two, three, four divisions. And if you look down here, that's 20 milliseconds per division, or 0.02 seconds per division. I got four divisions, so that's 0.08 seconds. So I'm going to take the six volts divided by 0.08 seconds, and that'll give me the number of volts per second. That's delta V divided by delta T. Now the current is the capacitance times delta V divided by delta T. If I know delta V over delta T and I know the current, I can solve for the capacitance. And that is in fact the plan. So if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask.